All right, and we're back with another episode of Average Jose's Sports Talk. Sports Talk. I'm your host, Jeremiah. And I'm the other guy, Cullen. And we're so unstoppable. <laughs> we got a pretty good uh, episode for you guys here today. College conference championships are wrapped up, and we're moving on to bowl season. Um, 49ers and Eagles finally played, and it was a game. Um, the, NBA, <laughs> the NBA in-season tournament is moving on to its elimination rounds, and there's some surprising wins there. But before we get to all that, we got to start with our weekly Immaculate Grid. Immaculate Riz. It's pretty close. You're getting better. <laughs> Not I sponsored by to hear that. anybody that you see on the screen. Don't even look at the screen. Don't look at the screen. Look away. Why are you still looking? All right. <laughs> Clear that if you're watching on YouTube, I need you to close your eyes for this segment. All right, never mind. You get ready to close First your eyes. First one's I'm easy. Sure. Yeah, the LSU Bengals one. Let's do Jamar Chase, though. I hope you're wrong, because that'd be hilarious. Let's try and get some, like... <laughs> uh. No, Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow played together, right? I know, but I hope you're wrong. I just wanted to get 54%. Joe Burrow was less than Jamar Chase? Wow. I was just trying to get more like uh, <laughs> rarity points, but holy cow. Um, okay. I want to say Ryan Fitzpatrick for the Ryan middle Fitzpatrick's one. Ryan Fitzpatrick's the middle I'm pretty one. sure he played yeah. for the Bucks. Yeah, he played for the Buccaneers. Okay. Um, I want to say Ryan Fitzpatrick for the bottom one. <laughs> um, no, you could do uh, Brett Favre for the bottom. Oh, bottom yeah, because he's doing the Aaron Rodgers. Or he did the Aaron Rodgers. No, Aaron Rodgers is doing the Brett Favre. They don't no. have a Brett Favre picture. That's crazy. That is kind of insane. The I don't problem know, is I'm not I don't know a lot of colleges. LSU. Yeah, I don't know a lot of LSU players. So that's a tough I don't one. know college and stuff. Mm -hmm. I also don't um, know transfers. Yeah, that's hard. When it's not like big name players, I'm just like, who's where? Yeah, like it's not Tom Brady, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, too bad. Uh, or no, I'm gonna say too bad. The Bengals isn't the Browns because Joe Flacco, but was he um, ever a Jaguar? Because he played for the Ravens. I know. I can't uh, think if he played. I don't it think was Joe right Flacco on the was on the head. Jaguars. Yeah, I don't think he was. Um, I don't even know who's on the Jaguars, dog. Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I was going to say Trevor Lawrence. Um, Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley played for... He wasn't a Buck. He was another red team. Was He, he was Falcons, wasn't he? Might be. We also didn't describe this grid at all to people. So the top three. <laughs> the top That's why three, you need to watch on my YouTube channel. Uh, unstoppable. Go check it out. Top three teams are Jaguars, Jets, and LSU. And then the left three are Bengals, Buccaneers, and Vikings. So we have Jamar Chase going to LSU and playing for the Bengals. Ryan Fitzpatrick clearly played for Jets and Buccaneers. And then Brett Favre played Jets and Vikings. So now we just got, what, three, four, five, six left to get. This is crazy as I'm nowhere closer to having any answers. <laughs> I was trying to bite your time. Um, I don't even know. Who was the Jets' big quarterback way back when? No, I think he only played for the Jets. I don't think he. Didn't Joe Flacco play for the Jets? Yeah. That's crazy. I think he did, didn't he? He did like a stint. I think so, but I don't think he ever played for the Bengals. I don't think he did. I'm so bad at Tim this. Tim Tebow played for the Jets. But he didn't play for the Bengals. No. Um, LSU, that's a hard one, bro. I don't know who came out of LSU. Like, I have no idea. I'm so bad with colleges. I don't pay attention like that. Yeah. And it's also like I didn't become a true football fan until I was like, yeah. like 12 or 13. So I wasn't paying attention to college players back then. Um, LSU players on the Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette. Holy cow. Believe it or not. Leonard Fournette. Mm, went to... mm -hmm. You good? <laughs> I did know that. What do you mean am I good? You said. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> 
thought you were like I gagged had stuff and, like, in my mouth. Someone had you at gunpoint. You're trying to signal to me or something. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me here. Have you seen that post? That's a funny post. What you're talking about? Justin Jefferson went to LSU, dude. <laughs> That's crazy because I was thinking Justin Jefferson, but the name that popped in my head was Stefan Diggs. Uh, and I was like, I don't think Stefan went to LSU. Yeah, we're casuals. Yeah. Good thing we have a sports podcast. Yeah, good thing no one listens to it. <laughs> um, Let's see. CJ Uzuma played for Jets and Bengals. He was active. Thing t- is, I've heard that name. 2015 to current. You recognize his face? Yeah. That's the dude from the from Hard Knocks. From Hard yeah. Knocks. Yeah. That's why the name said, yeah. Um, let's see. Kevin Hardy played for Jaguars and Bengals. Kevin Hardy? Which one? Two Kevin Hardys. Uh, this one was born in 73, so I'm guessing it's not the bottom one who played <laughs> Not the one that 72. played in 68. That's funny, dude. He played till 72, died, and was reincarnated in the second Kevin Hardy who <laughs> went to play. <laughs> played man, again. Um, Buccaneers. Daryl Smith. I don't know that is. I've heard of him before. Oh my gosh. Um, (laughs) I hate this. Do you want to take a guess which one it is? 2004 to 2016? I don't know. (laughs) You want to go with that one? You don't have his birthday or anything? No. Um, Daryl Smith, linebacker. Here we go. These photos look fairly new. He's 41 years old, so I'm going to say it's... I'm going to assume he didn't play in this 87. One. Nice. I was right. 0.2%? Well, I've yeah, never cause... seen it that low. Well, yeah, who else is going to like... I mean, that's crazy. This is just the first player that came up, so I don't know if there's a more obvious one everyone's going with, but you Probably think... Probably he's only 0.2. You think like if there was a more obvious one, it'd be the first thing on Google. Um, and then Brian Williams played for Vikings and Jaguars. Please, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so many. Um, well, we can rule out the bottom one because he only played for one year, and I doubt he played for two teams. Yeah, this says that Grant. Hang on. Um, all right, this one says Benjamin Elfson. Let's go with that. I bet that's a more rare name. Believe it or not. It's not even a name, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they put him in as Ben. Played for two years in the NFL, and then he was done. He played for... He, he played for... He probably did like one season with the Jaguars. I was like, man, this sucks. How does that guy have a picture, but Brett Favre doesn't? <laughs> right? I wonder if it's just because Brett Favre's an older player. Oh, no. But there's the Immaculate Grid. Time for basketball. Um, you got this one, buddy. You ready? Go ahead and start us off. Larry Bird. <laughs> um, I think Yao Ming played for the Rockets. Yeah. Um, Steve Nash played for the Suns. And then I'm trying to think, I feel like. Was it, was it not Larry Bird? Oh, Mary Bird. (laughs) (laughs) Nice job, bud. I got one. See, they have photos for these old players. (laughs) But Brett Favre doesn't get one. (laughs) Um, all right, what else, dude? Come on, keep going. This um, one's terrible. The remaining boxes are Jazz and OKC on the top, and then Rocket Celtic Suns on the left. Tom Hiddleston? Oh, 
was a guess, yeah. Um, What's funny is you oh, probably don't even know who I was thinking of. No, probably didn't. I forgot Kevin Durant played for OKC. Um, oh, and then James Harden played for the Rockets. That's the one I was literally saying. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh, no, Hiddleston, I, Harden. I could see it. Well, because I was going to say Tom Hardy. <laughs> I was like, that's not right. I was like, so you just I don't want it to be bit. too close. <laughs> that way he knows that I'm super wrong. So I'll say <laughs> Tom Hiddleston. I swear I was thinking of James that's Harden. That's funny. I believe it. I mean, I could see it. That's funny. Um, the hard part is I don't know a lot of jazz players. Like um, that could be the New Orleans Jazz or Utah Jazz, by the way. So like, also it's crazy. That's o- crazy. OKC was Seattle SuperSonics up until two thousand eight because Kevin Durant played on the SuperSonics. Well, also Ice Cube has the song. He says the Lakers beat the SuperSonics. Um, I had no idea what that meant until just now when you hovered <laughs> over and it said SuperSonics. Yeah, 40, 1947 for the Celtics. That's kind of nuts. I was born. Um, I don't know who would have been on. Yeah, I don't know like any. I have not watched NBA lately. It's tough. I'm surprised I got two of these people. I'm proud of you, bud. I mean, James Harden's an easy one because he's the Ryan Fitzpatrick of the NBA. I don't even know his name. I called him Tom Hardy. You called him Tom Hiddleston? <laughs> Out loud, I called him Tom Hiddleston <laughs> in my head. I called him Tom Hardy. Um, let's see. Jazz and Rockets. Oh, I don't know any of these players. <laughs> oh, wow. These are not real people. Pete Chilcut. That's a name. 0.9%. <laughs> Heck yeah. We're getting some points today. Pete, Mer- oh Pete Maravich, that's Pistol Pete. You're Pistol Pete. Stop. <laughs> Yo, look at that hair. Yeah, that's insane. That looks like it's out of a movie. Jeff Hornacek. Stop. What? Not the coach. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have to guess the I last didn't know one. No coaches were a part of this. Okay. Okay, see, Celtics, this is obviously, uh, Dennis Johnson. Um, I can try it. Dude, 4%, good job. We did better on this one than we did on the football one. Well, maybe we should you did better talking. on that one. Stop I talking. better. I mean, you got Larry Bird and Tom Hiddleston, dog. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Putting up numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! I God. am a lot better at the football when I pay way more attention to football. Yeah, I, football is a tough. One. Like, I feel like basketball might be easier just because there's. It feels like there's a lot of trades in basketball, like that go around. A lot, like, I don't know. I feel like players move around teams a lot more. There's also less players per team, so you're True. keeping track so a you're... lot less. Football, you're like. There's 53 men on the main team. There's also a practice squad. You think they count practice squads? You think if I was just like, oh, well, I know that like this Joe player's Flacco's on the practice on the squad. Browns practice squad. But he, he played a count. game. He played a game, though. Like, that's the thing. He's played a game. Would he have counted prior to Sunday? I don't know. I thought Never you made these. Yet. <laughs> we don't know any practice squad players. Here's what we'll do, okay? I will go professional. And join the NFL. I'll play a season with like some team. Request a trade and to be put on the practice squad. <laughs> request to be put on the. And then whenever there's an immaculate grid with these two teams, we'll try my name out and see if it works. See, Colin Kaepernick could have helped us out if he got on someone's practice squad. Yeah. Who was he looking to get on their practice squad? The Jets. The Jets. Yeah. We could have literally had a Jets 49ers one and seen tested it, it, it out. Worked. Well, I mean, and freaking Joe Joe Flacco had to go and start this week, and then the, and then spoiler for later. But now he's back on the squad, so it's like, what was the point of that? If you're just not gonna, you're just gonna ruin my immaculate grid now, and get a loss. So, Cleveland Browns, if you guys are watching this, um, count your days, team. 
takes. Team Duckish. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit awkward because uh, Bears had a bye week. University of Wyoming wasn't in their conference championship, so they had a bye week. Um, Broncos lost, um, and then the University of Oregon lost. So <laughs> it's gonna be me talking. Um, and I'm not sad. And you, yeah. So let's just start <laughs> this off. Uh, Broncos Texans. Broncos lost twenty two seventeen. No. Um, what's crazy is this is insane, dude. So these stats, okay. CJ Stroud, it's sixteen awful. for sixteen for twenty seven, two seventy four yards. Like two seventy four yards on sixteen completions is like okay, you know. Twenty seven yeah. attempts is wild. Um, one touchdown, five sacks, QBR of seventeen. Russell Wilson had one less completion, one less attempt, about a hundred less yards, same amount of touchdowns, three interceptions, and three sacks, and a QBR of twenty point four. Who is this man paying off to have his QBR a few points higher than quarterbacks when they you could argue they had better games? I mean CJ Sharp put up a hundred more yards on one more attempt and one more completion. Through the full field and that, that one. And he th- threw less, three less interceptions. So, I don't know. The more, like, we do this and the more we, like, actually look at QBR and stats, the more I'm just like, I don't know if I trust QBR anymore. <laughs> QBR doesn't matter at all. Um, Yeah, it was a crazy game. It was another... Average of, like, almost 20 yards per completion for CJ Shroud. Yeah, because like what two seventy four divided by sixteen? That's seventeen yards per completion. Yeah. Um, but I think they do. Oh yeah, I think they do per completion. I don't remember. Because um, the thing you looked up last time said it was like based off of how the play should go. Yeah, that's part of it. And then it's like they multiply it where it's like yards divided by like attempts, yards divided by like completions, yards divided by like touchdowns or something weird. It's such a weird formula that I don't really care to learn. Um, because I'm just going to trash it every time, regardless. So, true. Um, it was a crazy game, though. I mean, it was another game where it came down to like the last few seconds for the Broncos. Um, and this time, though, like, so through two of those three interceptions came on like the last two drives the Broncos had. One of them, if I remember correctly, was in the end zone. He threw an interception in the end zone. Um, but it was just Russell Wilson trying to make something happen downfield. He'd gotten away with a few like 30 yard, you know, passes earlier in the game where he could just zip it out there and like Sutton is right there to catch it. Um, Texans weren't going to let that happen anymore, especially if he was going to lose the game. So if you guys remember, this is a pretty big game just because both these teams were at the top of the bubble um, for their conference. Now the Texans have taken that top spot um, and the Broncos are now one more game behind. What really Ooh. sucks is the Chiefs <laughs> lost this week. So the Broncos could be could have been one game behind the Chiefs for division lead. Um but we had to get the loss. So uh and then that happened with the Bears. So. Bears lost to the bye week. Um they had <laughs> ten injuries. Um could you imagine like I feel like that's the only way you lose the bye week is if like your starting squad decided to go like on a trip to Chuck E. Cheese and like the bus crashed and fell off a bridge and like 11 players maimed and injured and can't play this week. It's like, okay, yeah, we lost bye week this week. What sucks is there are bye weeks where people will do their practices and stuff Mm -hmm. and get injured, pull a hammy and stuff in the bye week. Right. And then it's like, (laughs) how did you get injured? By not playing anyone, like you literally, it's like got it's, injured not playing. It was funny because it's like, bro, your your day job is tackle football, but like you tore your Achilles when you went to the park with your daughter and like tried to do the monkey bars. Like what? Like, <laughs> yeah. So Bears are on a bye week. Um, I didn't realize they were on a bye week until I was doing this, and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. There wasn't a Bears game this weekend. <laughs> I was just not processing it. Um, yeah, that's and why then, I had Sam Howell and we right. talked about it. And then I was like, oh, yeah, he said that Fields is on a bye. Um, University of Wyoming 
also didn't play. They weren't in the conference championship, which you could argue that they should have been just because they won all their home games. Um, and they're the best team. But they didn't announce their bowl game, and they will be playing in the Arizona Bowl against Toledo. What's it was actually just like ten and two or something? Yeah. What's actually crazy is Oregon is playing the Fiesta Bowl, which I believe is in Arizona as well. So we can um, go to both of them. Except they moved Oregon's to the New Year's Day bowl game, which I was like, that's interesting. It's like their fourteenth New Year's Day bowl game they've had. Um, partly because of college playoffs, you know, that when they've been in the playoffs a decent amount. Um but I just think that's so funny that they're just like Oregon's like, oh, okay, I'm like, well, I get ready to play like these this last game in December, and they're like, no, you guys need to fly out there on New Year's Day. And they're like, bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it's also like no one's gonna watch that because the playoffs will be going on. I don't know if they'll be at the same Not time. But. Same time. Um, but speaking of Oregon and my disappointment. They lost their uh, Pac-12 championship to Washington, thirty-four to thir- thirty-four to thirty-one. Um, Bo Nix, I mean, went off. He was twenty-one of thirty-four for two hundred thirty-nine yards, three touchdowns, and only one interception. Um, Penix had a trash game of twenty-seven for thirty-nine, three hundred nineteen yards, a touchdown, and an interception. <laughs> oh, Nix's QBR was one point two points higher. <laughs> um, probably just because he attempted five less passes but he also had six less completions so qbr is a scam don't believe it he also had um, two more touchdowns this was a tough one we were down like 20 to 10 at halftime and i think that i think we could have won this our second half was way better i think we could have won this game if we hadn't let it get so out of hand in the first half because then now coming into second half we only had two quarters to make up you know all the momentum we <clears> had <throat> lost in the first half um, and being down 10 while Washington still continues to score. If they had done better in the first quarter, it would have been a different game. Oh my gosh. First, first two drives. Awful. First two drives were both three and out um, with only like with one, one, run. one run. I was like, why are you not utilizing your run? And then the second half, they didn't like pass the ball once. And I was like, what is happening? Like, it, it was just such a messy game. And yeah, it is funny though. So. They had five, I'm pretty sure, incomplete passes. Maybe some of them were completed. But if they had five incomplete passes, that's five out of the 13 incompletions right off the rip right there. Two drives. Um, so, yeah, it was a disappointing game. And especially since Georgia lost, like that was even more painful because then I was like, dude, we definitely would have gotten a spot. Like, uh, that's tough. Um, did you say that they announced the uh, final four for Heisman? No. It's Penix, Bo Nix, um, Jaden Daniels, and Harrison Jr. Nice. So the four that everyone thought it was going to be. I didn't think J.J. McCarthy was going to get it. I think J.J. McCarthy could have had a chance if they didn't only use him in the first half for every game for the whole season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they'd like finish the half and they'd be like, all right. We're up by 50. JJ, you can go ahead and head home now. We're going to use our fourth string quarterback. <laughs> but he's just like, we have a car outside Coach, have, for you. I have 250 yards in the first half. Can I, can I keep going? No, man, we don't want to risk you. Like, Coach, I'm on track for a thousand yard game. That's never <laughs> been done. Could I possibly just stay in? They do that no, and they just run the ball because they don't want him to get sacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't know. It's so hard because all four of them have like excelled in such drastically different ways. Like Jane Daniels had that one insane game where he set records and like that's what put him in the Heisman talk. Bo Nix has consistently had like multiple touchdown games. Um low yardage typically, but like he's getting the ball in the end zone, which you could argue that's the point of the quarterback. Um Penix is always putting up high yardage games. So then you're like, okay, he's moving the ball down the field. And then Harrison Jr. is a cracked receiver, but like because he's been getting double covered so much, they haven't used him as much as they've like gone. Oh, has, has gone to like their tight ends more. So that's kind of a tough one. Um, I know Heisman's like a vote. Is it that like the people vote? I don't know. That's what I was looking up. I figured that's what you were looking up. I saw, I saw you had your research face on. Because <laughs> I, 
I was thinking I'll just go cast my vote, but I don't. Who would you vote for, Harrison? Yeah. I know you're a big Harrison fan. Who actually votes for the Heisman? Media votes from six regions across the country. Far West, Mid-Atlantic, Southwest, Northeast, Midwest, South. One vote from all previous or all 57 previous winners and one fan vote. So all the fans do vote, but whoever the majority is coming out of that just gets one vote out of it. So it's like the uh, it's like the Electoral College it doesn't make a lot of sense and it's kind of screwing people over. Um, Tyler Murray was a high school winner? Just kidding. Uh, I don't know. It looks like Tyler Murray. It's a picture of every Heisman winner on the back wall. Oh. It's pretty cool, actually. That's interesting though when it says media votes. Is that just like if I if we start a newspaper, could we start voting for Heisman by ourselves? No, I don't think so. That's the media. This is a media pod this podcast is media. Does that mean we get a vote now for like what would we be? We'd probably be far west? emailed to 870 members of the media. I don't know how they decide which media and which members are going to be. Can we bump that up to 871? Probably not. Hey, uh, Heisman.com, if you guys are watching this, can you add us to that email list? We'd love to be on it. What's crazy is it will be over a thousand total votes at some point in time. Especially with all previous winners getting to vote. Mm -hmm. Huh, interesting. Um, so yeah, that's team takes. It was a rough week for both of us, just because you were suffering with me. The deadline for submitting votes is December fourth at five p.m. Oh, so we can't even that was vote yesterday. Yeah. Um, moving on though to news around the world. The world. When you put in that Daft Punk song, where it's like around the world, around, around the world. world. You don't even need to put it in. You did it right there. Beautiful. Um, conference championships for this weekend, like I said, for college, some big games. Um, some of the bigger ones that had implications on playoffs. Number seven, Texas beat number 18, Oklahoma State. Oklahoma. 49 to 21. <laughs> Kind of gross. Uh, Quinn Ewers went 35 of 46 for 452 yards, four <laughs> touchdowns, and one interception. Uh, Texas running back Robinson had four carries for 75 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Texas had 662 total yards compared to Oklahoma's 281, and they only punted the ball once. Surprised they punted the ball at all. I was watching that game, bro. I I knew that like Texas is like like Robinson and like their running back room is insane. Watching that though, it like been. it looked like Oklahoma State was standing still. Like I said, like it, Texas is the only team that could get away with a screen pass and put it for fifty yards because they would catch that and then just be booking it down the field, dude. Like I'm surprised the quarterback had so many yards. He doesn't typically do that. I think it's because they did so many screen passes and he, they'd catch a screen and then they'd move it 60 yards. So that's a 60-yard pass for him when all he did was basically do a pitch a few extra yards to his right. Yeah. So um, it was insane. Like like I was telling you yesterday, I mean, I think that – I feel like there's a good chance Arch Manning goes to the portal. Like, I don't know. Like, I, with Ewers putting up these numbers as a sophomore, I just don't think we see him – going anywhere anytime soon you know when you say goes to the portal what are you talking about like the um the the transfer portal transfer portal yeah okay what else would i be talking about portal the video game said enters the portal i thought you meant to go to the nfl every single time you told me really i thought that's what you meant and i was like (laughs) Why would he go to the NFL? No one knows what That's he can so do. That's so funny because yesterday you were like, I mean, I guess, but like no one knows what he can do. He's not anything. I was like, well, he's like the top high school yeah, prospect. That's when you tell, that's when you you tell like, me, hey, dummy head. I didn't really <laughs> thought the NFL When portal. I said no one knows what he can do, why would they draft him? Obviously, I'm talking about NFL. I just thought you said like, I thought you were using draft as a weird way and for pick like, him up. And you're like, he's the number one high school prospect. And I was like. <laughs> So how that doesn't translate, and not Gosh. once were you like, he's thinking NFL. Well, 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 well. Kobe was the number one high school prospect, and he went straight to the NBA. So, 
<laughs> um, so now that you know what I'm actually talking about, do you think we see Arch Manning leave Texas? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Because I was, I was like, I want to shoot you down when I was a hot like, take. I want to kill his hoves, but I don't. We toss on the hot take NFL segment. Right Arch away. Manning going to go first overall for the NFL this year. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, just I didn't realize Ewers was a sophomore, and so when I saw that, I was like, "Why is uh, Arch Manning a third string quarterback?" Like, yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Um, Texas Those has been put Wyoming, in. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. It's the same vibes. Um, Texas is put in at number three for the playoffs, so they will be placing. They'll be playing. <laughs> Uh, they'll be playing against Washington um, for that first round. Um, so, yeah, should be a good game. Um, probably the biggest game of the weekend, though, was number one, Georgia, versus Ooh. number eight, Alabama. Roll Tide! Ooh. You want to talk about this game, buddy? No, you're the college talker. Oh, okay. Alabama won 27-24. <laughs> to Um it was funny watching that game because, like, Alabama got out to, like, a 10-3 lead or something. Um, but then, like, once they got, like, that lead, Georgia would score, like, seven. Mm-hmm. Alabama would score seven. Georgia would kick a field goal. Alabama would kick a field goal. I like, no matter you, like I went back what, and like, forth. No matter what Georgia did, Alabama would answer with, like, the exact same points, it seemed like. So they kept it just yeah, Every time of- I was like, oh, up by 10, up by three. Up, up by, by 10. 10. Up by three. By three. <laughs> yeah, like the Every whole single game. time. Um, Milrow went 13 and 23 for 192 yards and two touchdowns. Um, nothing like too insane there. I feel like he isn't like a high producing quarterback, anyways. Um, no, not really. The team stats were crazy to like look at, though. So Georgia's total yards was 321 versus Alabama's 306. Uh, Georgia had 19 first downs. Alabama had 20. Georgia punted four times. Alabama punted five times. And there was a two-minute, 18-second difference on possession time. I think Alabama had more possession time. Um, so it was a pretty even game. I mean, Georgia lost. Um, but yeah. I they had more of a fight than, honestly, I thought they would. This was easily their toughest matchup of the season um, i thought it'd be a close game i just yeah the entire time expected alabama to win i a three-point win was not what i was expecting out of alabama i thought it'd be like a 10 14 point no, I, I was expecting a close game i definitely wasn't expecting an alabama blowout they yeah. just don't have the team for it exactly no, it's not yeah but they definitely have the team for a win against georgia so oh yeah i was um, expecting a win of any kind yeah. Um, so Alabama was put in at number four for college playoffs, which angered a lot of Florida State fans. Um, but they'll be playing Michigan um, to start off the playoffs. Speaking of Michigan, Michigan. N- number two, Michigan beat Iowa 26 to zero. McCarthy only had 147 yards, but Blake Corum had two rushing touchdowns. Um, total yards in the game combined for both teams, 368. It was an awful game. With 13 I don't know total how the punts. score was even 26. Like With 13 total punts, dude. That's insane. I didn't realize Iowa had such a defensive team. So, Michigan's getting ready to face Alabama. I think that'll be a really fun game to watch. Um, so, New Year's Day. Keep an eye out for it. Um, and then number 14, Louisville, lost to number four, Florida State. Um I didn't put the score, but I think it was like 16-14, 16-13. It was a close game. 16-12. Um, Florida State. It was like 16-6. 16-6. Um, so it wasn't as close as I thought. Florida State's Six. freshman third-string quarterback went 8 for 21 for 55 yards. Louisville's quarterback went 14 to 36 for 111 yards and one interception. <laughs> The only reason Florida State won was because their running back, uh, Toa Feely, had 10 carries for 118 yards and a touchdown. Yeah. After looking at the stats, I'm I'm game. more understanding of why Florida State was not given a That's spot. That's what I was trying to tell you when we were driving. <laughs> I was like, dog, 
<laughs> their quarterback at 50 yards. Like, that's not a I winning team. Had not real, I had not processed that. So when I looked at it, I was like, I mean, to be fair, like, their, their second stringer is back now. So, like, he would have been able to play in the game. But, yeah, that's. I was trying to help you understand that, like, yes, they had an undefeated season. But without their quarterback, like, they're barely – they're not going to beat big teams. I straight up told you, I was like, they're, they don't have what it takes to beat uh, a top four team. That's fair. I just wanted to see the slaughter. Um, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Uh, moving on, you want to talk about these NFL games? Nope. Okay. Packers versus Chiefs. This one hurt. Um, Packers win 27 to 19. Crazy win. It hurt for multiple reasons, one being Packers are in the Bears division, so that win hurts, um, especially because we both played the Chiefs and the Bears did not beat the Chiefs. We actually kind of got effed um, by the Chiefs. (laughs) Jordan Love went 25-36 for 267 yards and three touchdowns. Bro, where are these stats coming from, from Jordan Love all of a sudden? Those aren't even good stats, bro. I mean, throwing three touchdowns is pretty three solid. Touchdowns is pretty solid. Um, this one hurts. Pacheco had 18 carries for 110 yards and a touchdown. My fantasy <laughs> week, I had AJ Dillon, who did quite a bit in the first half, and then I don't think he, he remembered where he was in the second half. Didn't really like do anything. Yeah, because Jordan Love was hogging shoes. the ball. Jordan Love was hogging the ball. AJ Dillon is usually a target for Jordan Love. I don't think oh. he got the ball thrown to him one time. I was just trying to feed your Jordan Love hate. I'm sorry. I do hate Jordan Love. I hate that he didn't pass AJ Dillon once. And then uh, the dude I was playing had Pacheco. So that was really a good time for him to have a breakout game. Um, I'm, I am I will say I'm impressed with Jordan Love stepping into this role of starting quarterback. And like it seems like he's starting to make it his own position and not like – like he, I feel like he's moved past the shadow of Aaron Rodgers and everyone's starting to respect and realize like, oh no, we're in the Jordan Love era now. Like this is, you know, it's it, like it was, it was rough to start the season, but I think like the Packers are in a good place now. They're looking pretty solid now. I mean, they beat the, the Chiefs. The team sucks one. Wow. That's an opinion. I won't even yeah. say a hot, hot take. Well, um, not a you, hot take. That's you pretty wanna, cool. Do you want to talk about this game anymore, buddy? Um, 49ers versus the Eagles. This was not the <laughs> game I was expecting. Oh, so heartbreaking, be. bro. This was not at all the game I was expecting. Oh, my God. Dominated Eagles in Philadelphia. Yeah. 42 to 19. Like, they almost hung up 49 on them. Uh, um, <laughs> Rock Purdy, 1927. <laughs> For 314 yards and four touchdowns. That's insane. This was his his, uh, Jaden Daniels game. This was the game where he he went off and everyone's like, oh, MVP. Yeah, his yards are insane. Like, touchdowns are insane. Eagles only had 46 total rushing yards, which, I mean, if you know anything about football, Eagles are a rushing team. They have Between Jalen Hurts and Swift, yeah. Their quarterback can run it, like. 46 total rushing yards is disgusting. Yeah. Um, Swift had six carries for 13 yards. He averaged it's, just over two <laughs> yards a carry. It's so, it, I think it was 2.2 is what the stat sheet has said. Um, it's, it's crazy. Cause like the chiefs in the super bowl showed like the way to stop the Eagles is possession. You hog the ball. Don't let Jalen hurts do anything. You're winning that game easily. Right. Um, and then we saw like a week or two ago, um, Eagles had like 10 minutes of I think it was the Bills game or something Eagles had like 10 minutes did they play the Bills recently? maybe their upcoming mm-hmm. games that was the overtime one against okay. Josh Allen oh uh, yeah that's right Um, Eagles had like 10 minutes of possession time and like still put up like four, almost 40 points so it's like okay they yeah. fixed that problem well now the 49ers came out and said oh no the real way to stop them is just don't let them run the ball whatsoever the real way to stop them is to just play defense pretty well and then they can't win and so it's so that's so funny though that like they just shut down the rushing game and all of a sudden the eagles can't produce because the eagles lost to the jets who are one of the worst run defense teams yeah so like that just that's insane but i've got a hot take for uh for this for later but 
we can talk about it now, I guess, because it's kind of relevant here. It's relevant um, now. Do you does this like show that the Eagles aren't a Super Bowl team? Like, if you can get if you can get blown out by this bad. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we've already seen that quite a bit. Um, I mean, let's look at their whole schedule. Because they haven't been doing anything insane. Like, they right. only beat They've the Patriots by five. Lost to the They've... Jets. Barely beat the Bills. Lost yeah. to the 49ers. Lost like, it was an insane game. Commanders, both times they played them, they barely beat the Commanders. Like, it that's was right. Tough games both Start times. of the season, Commanders gave them a tough one. Barely beat the Cowboys. Rams was a close game. Jets they lost to. Dolphins was a decent game, but it's the Dolphins who can't win against a good team. <laughs> um... Cowboys, they barely beat. Chiefs was a super close game. Bills well, they, was a super they close game. They barely beat a Chiefs team who lost to the Packers. <laughs> they barely beat a Chiefs team that lost uh, to the Broncos. 12 like, different people yeah. every game because they don't have a wide receiver. Like I've felt the entire season that Eagles weren't like a Super Bowl winning team. Yeah. This season, at least. Um, and I think I. We've talked about it in previous weeks because they're barely pulling out these games. Like, if they're gonna beat a team that made it all the way through, I think they need to do something different. Biggest win margin was fourteen points. They did it three times. They actually did it on three different teams. Um, their biggest win margin has been fourteen points. Besides that, it's all been like seemingly one possession type games for the most part. But then you have like. The 49ers, the Cowboys, um, the Ravens that are winning by like 20, 30 points. Yeah. And it's like, you can't be a Super Bowl team when you have all these other teams just dominating. Yeah. And it's, you're barely beating the Patriots. It's a, again, it's such a weird season where we're going and we're almost going into playoff season here. And it's anybody's game. Like, but every- probably the Bears. It's anybody but the Bears and Broncos game. Uh, <laughs> um, but no, like, I mean, like, always you're one bad game away from being out of the playoffs. But, like, this like this playoff season upcoming, like, all these teams are so back and forth. Like, the 49ers are recently coming off of, like, what, a three-game losing streak? A few u- weeks ago they just busted you, that? Yeah. So, like, they're they're coming off that. Um, and now all of a sudden Brock Purdy's like an MVP caliber quarterback for people, you know, the Eagles are coming off of an overtime win. They're coming off of just a long, the the first team to hit 10 wins this season. And then they get 42 hung up on them. The chiefs will one week look like they've figured it out. Everything looks good. Kelsey puts up 200 yards. They're clicking and then they'll lose to the Packers. So it just seems like there's just so much back and forth that once like playoffs hit, dude, it's it's gonna be insane. Yeah. Um Eagles right now still lead the NFC 10 2. Um but this Dallas, Cowboys win was huge for them. Cowboys getting that win and Eagles getting that loss was huge. Yeah, same division. Dallas is now only down one win. Detroit is also down one win. And the 49ers are also down one win. So if Philadelphia keeps up this, we can barely win. We can't do anything. They're not going to get a first round bye. And they might not make it out of that first game. That's crazy. Even if they get a first round bye, they might not make it out. Of the- What's insane? Eagles, Cowboys, next game. Yeah, that'll be, that's- that'll be a huge game right there. I mean, obviously it'll just tie it up if Cowboys win, but it's yeah. still huge that they get to that point. Yeah. Also something that's crazy. The differentials, Cowboys and Washington lead in the Cowboys lead with one six plus one sixty eight for differential mm. points. Yeah. Uh Washington Commanders, same division, are at the bottom with <laughs> minus one thirty four. <laughs> so- uh, so the Cowboys or the Commanders could literally win like the rest of their season 
everyone loses, and they probably still wouldn't have a shot at cracking that top three in their division. I mean, it's point differential, so I mean... I feel like they take point differential into account for ties, though. Yeah, for ties. Um, but that's just crazy that same division, Cowboys are like plus 300 mm. points. Well, and isn't that the Eagles division, too? Yeah, Eagles, Who's Cowboys, Giants, Commanders. Giants, that's a disgusting... <laughs> You've got What's Eagles crazy is last the week, side. the Giants were the biggest loss point differential. So the Giants are a minus 133. The that's Commanders insane, are a, a minus one less than the Giants. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, crazy division. NFC that's an insane division. <laughs> that's a terrible division. Uh, you want to talk about this Joe Flacco news? Yes, so right before we got on... We checked we the saw, news beforehand. Saw that Joe Flacco is back to the practice squad for the Browns after <laughs> just one game. Um, this game wasn't awful. 23 of 44, 254 yards, two touchdowns, an interception, and a QBR of 51.8. Like I said, not awful, but it's also not great when you right. attempt... 44 passes. 44 passes. And you complete one over. I think 50%. Their, their top receiver, I think I said, was targeted like 12 times and caught it four times. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, like I said, not awful, awful, but it's also not something you want to see out of a quarterback that you're starting. Just so funny. At this to point, me. they might just not be playing anyone. So funny um, to me. They might just punt the ball. It's like what we said with the Jets. They just punt it right away. And then punt their it, let your defense everything. try to get some touchdowns. Gosh, that'd be so funny. Yeah, that's poor Joe Flacco, dude. That's tough. They gave him a shot, and they were like, yeah. I thought I it mean, was terrible to start with. Maybe they're that's what the Broncos are. Bro, just getting at, old this point, QBs. at this point, the Browns just need to give uh, Colin Kaepernick a shot. Not like, what, what's the worst that happens? Yeah, if we're just signing all these good quarterbacks game, that like, are out of anywhere, like, I'll apply. I'll send in my. I think that's the funniest part is like people are like, "Oh, Kaepernick's washed up." Like, and I don't want Kaepernick. Da, 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 da. But then they sign. They sign like Trevor uh, Simeon to like come in and do absolutely nothing, just to ask Zach Wilson to start again. It's like just give the guy a chance at this point. Like, I get like the controversy, <laughs> but like literally, what's the worst that happens? You get another loss. Like, you were gonna get that with Joe Flacco, anyways. You might as well give. <laughs> Yeah, give give RG three a chance. Let him destroy his knee and realize he's still not built for this. Do you want to know Siemens QBR? What? One point eight. Yeah, that's just disgusting, dude. So Tim Boyle was fourteen of twenty five for one hundred forty eight yards and an interception and a sack. Yeah, twenty two point two QBR. Oh my gosh! Trevor Seaman went five of 13, 66 yards, three sacks. 1.8 QBR. That's insane. Wow. Uh, moving on <laughs> to our weekly Cowboys disappointment tracker. Um, Cowboys beat the Seahawks 41 to 35 they in a primetime game. They yeah, they, that was a it was a good game. It was a good game. First, it was good finally not a game. boring one. <laughs> uh, Dak went 29 of 41 for 299 yards and three touchdowns. Should just throw in one more yard. Um, Should have just still only on six interceptions for the season with Crazy. four regular season games left. So, um, it's looking like the Cowboys probably playoff team. Um, so I'm guessing that their disappointment tracker will come to a conclusion in the divisional first round, like it normally does. What are you looking at? I just feel like you're wrong about what they've only played twelve games. I this is they have four they have five games left. Who's the other one? The Commanders. You keep throwing out the Commanders. Why are they not on this list? Who makes these lists? What list are you looking at? The one that on the screen. I always forget the Commanders. All right, they've got five games left. I'm pretty sure last week you started it off and then you skipped the Seahawks when you started the thing and just read the last four. Um, five. Like you said, they're second in their division after the 10 and 2 Eagles. They play the Eagles this week. Cowboys are 9 and 3, so this could make it a 10 3 tie for tie. the division lead right now. Um, Cowboys got Eagles. Then they got the Bills. 
Dolphins, Lions, Commanders, I'm feeling better about for the Cowboys. I think like those ones they could probably take. It is crazy though. The Seahawks win was their first win against a 500 plus team. <laughs> so, what sucks is the Dolphins game is the first week of playoffs, and I need Tyreek to do what he does every week. But Ooh. if he's playing the Cowboys, he defensive might not. team. Yeah, it's a tough one. So that means I need the rest of my team to step up. I so for all you Cowboys team. fans out there, don't get your hopes up. There's still a chance. There's still a time that it'll happen. A loss? Uh, just disappointing and not winning the Super Bowl. Don't get your hopes up. They might disappoint you still. Um. All right, moving on. Champions League. Match day five was played. Um. So we got updates on all that stuff. Bayern, Arsenal, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Dortmund, Manchester City, and Barcelona all lead their groups. With Real Sociedad and Inter Milan tied for their group, there is one more match day left on December 12th. Um, and then I think they move on to like the em- elimination, elimination <laughs> round. <laughs> <laughs> they start imitating each other. Um, <laughs> the imitation with- round. Moving on to NBA uh, for the West, the Timberwolves are leading at fifteen and four, with the Thunder right behind at thirteen and six. Wow. The Lakers are seventh at twelve and nine for our weekly. Ooh, little- they're winning too much. Yeah, I know, but they're still at the bottom, like of the playoff eligibility. So Good. let's just let's keep our hopes up. Um, for the East, Celtics are on top at fifteen and five, with the Magic and Bucks right behind at fourteen and six. Ooh. The end season tournament's elimination round has begun. Uh, Pacers beat the Celtics one twenty two to one twelve, and the Pelicans beat the Kings one twenty seven to one seventeen. With Lakers versus Suns and Bucks versus Knicks playing tonight Tuesday, um, so we should have updates. We should have the end of the tournament will be by next week's episode, so we'll have updates for everything. I won't be in next week's episode. Oh, a spoiler. A um, spoiler. <laughs> NHL, uh, we got Bruins 17, 4, and 3, and Rangers 18, 4, and 1, leading their Trash. divisions for the East. And then the Avs, Woo! 15, 7, and 2, yeah. and, the, and the Knights 16, 5, and 5, leading their divisions Ooh. in the West. The Avs are currently on a three game losing streak. Can you? Shut your mouth. I just want to point it out for people who care about the abs. I already knew it was pointed out because last time they only had 15 wins and they had six losses, and now they have seven losses and two losses in overtime. So it was pretty obvious they're on a three game win loss streak. But they're leading their division. They could be leading even more if they weren't on a three game loss streak. Gonna move on. Yep. Uh, Next week in sports, we. Sports. Don't have any college games, so no! it's all NFL, which is cool because we get Saturday football. Um, True. You want to talk about these games? You're the you're the NFL guy. It means you don't get to talk. You can talk at the end. Um, yeah. Lions versus Bears. Bears coming out on top. Be a good game because I need Justin Fields to go off. I need Khalil Herbert to go off. I hope by week just like strengthen their bones. This is a long needed break. I need them to go off. Big game. Seahawks versus 49ers. I don't even know what this <laughs> I have game no could idea. be. After what Seahawks did against the Cowboys and after what the 49ers did against the Eagles, I have zero idea how this game is going to play one out. Played a, one played a tough Cowboys defense and the other yeah. played a tough Eagles offense. So it's like... I have no idea what could happen in this. You think it's gonna be a high scoring or low scoring? I literally don't know. I do <laughs> not know. Yeah, it's that's crazy. Um, Bills versus Chiefs. That will be a, a good one. It usually it's always is. a good one. Um, I can honestly see the, see the Bills taking it just with Chiefs, just so up and, and down. Yeah, I don't. And the Bills seem to be kind of getting. Uh, hold of things. I mean, I think they're on a bye week this week, coming off that overtime loss to the Eagles. So, I think hopefully they've been really planning for this Chiefs game, um, strengthening their bones. Be great to see the Chiefs get a loss to help the Broncos out a little more. Except the Broncos are going to lose this week as well. 
Eagles versus Cowboys. Um, this will be a good one, too. We got some good football, finally. This last weekend sucked. Yeah, again, I just – a game that I have no idea how it's going to go. And then Broncos versus Chargers, which I think Broncos win that off I of – I think so. This last week's performance <laughs> with the Chargers, I don't – Six to zero. <laughs> I don't know how the Chargers ever got a win in the first Ooh. place. <laughs> like yeah, six to zero to the Patriots. I don't because I mean all it takes. To be is... fair, it was raining. It was raining, oh. so there. I saw. I was. Light, I watched lightning the game. Ain't good in the rain. You say lightning ain't good in the rain? Yeah, because they're the Chargers, so it's like a lightning bolt. Lightning happens in the rain all the time. It's not. It's not good. Um, but it was raining, so there there were a lot of passes. Well, I think it were, just shows that they were good passes. They were just dropped. When you play, uh, yeah, that's that's a factor. Oh, uh, but when you play like when they play a defensive team, because Patriots are still a pretty defensive team. I mean, as long as the Belichick's the head coach, they're going to be a defensive team. Um, um, so they played a defensive team, and because the Chargers are purely an offensive team if you shut that down then they have nothing to do you know um and because the patriots are the patriots they're just they have no <laughs> offense whatsoever and so well, watching it i was like i genuinely don't see the patriots doing a single thing on either side of the ball yeah justin herbert had terrible passes and if they if it was a good one the ball was too wet so the receiver would drop like it would just slip yeah, right through hard. his hand so it was like the weather and Justin Herbert are the only reason that they didn't have more points because New England wasn't doing a single thing. I didn't see one play where I was like, that's a good defense. Every play yeah. I was like, I'm thinking are the that, Patriots on the field? I'm thinking that the Broncos can get this just because our defense is getting better. Our offense is still performing kind of consistently. So, I mean, when it comes down to it, you just got to score more points than the other person. That's how you win games. And... <laughs> I think as long as the Broncos put more points on the board than the Chargers, then I think they win this game. Bro found out football. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, and then, yes, the N- NBA in-season championship. Embenidos. <laughs> Embenidos. <laughs> Empanadas. Empanadas. Uh, <laughs> NBA in-season championship <sighs> will be December 9th. Um, so we'll, we'll see who uh, gets to... Have a dookie duke for the makeup championship. Because none of this matters. Um, Is that a what? Like they get to duke it out. Don't ever say that again. Oh, breaking news. Toledo's quarterback just answered, uh, just entered the transfer portal. Hopefully he transfers before our bowl game. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, does that mean they don't have a quarterback for the bowl game? He was their conference player of the year, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um. All right. Time for some hot takes. Hot, hot takes. Hot takes. Um, yeah, we already kind of talked about this first one. Eagles not being a Super Bowl team. Um, also, as the Chiefs is not being a Super Bowl team, I think that's the one that we've discussed quite a bit. And I just don't see it this year. Yeah, I just don't think it's... It'll be nice for a Super Bowl this year. Oh my gosh, it's going to be such a good Super Bowl. It's going to be different teams than we've seen the last like decade. Like yeah. Patriots for sure not going to be in it. It's like it's going to be like that one that the first NBA championship after like the Cavs Warriors like 10 game run. Or like 10 <laughs> 10 season run where it was just like two random it was just teams just them back and forth. And everyone was like this is the best NBA championship we've ever had. Yeah, so. I don't see Chiefs. I don't see Eagles unless Eagles. Eagles have a chance. I would say. I'd say they, they have, more have a of chance, chance to like work something out. Yeah. Chiefs, I don't think have a chance to work something out. Um, it's it'll just, just so be a good Super it's Bowl so it'll be wild because you just never realize like when you're seeing the end of like a dynasty. Like the the Chiefs dynasty took us all by surprise when Patrick Mahomes came in for. Um, wasn't like Alex Smith or whatever Alex who got Smith. Yeah, who got injured. Um took the world by surprise. So when the Patrick Mahomes Chiefs were like the new Tom Brady Patriots. You know, they were the top team. They were the NFL loved them. They were everywhere. Like that was the dynasty for a while, right? They were winning Super Bowls. Um and now like it's just you're just watching it and you're like, Am I watching like the end of 
what could be like the Chiefs dying. Like, I don't, I don't see Patrick Mahomes being done with football for a little bit. But if they don't fix these problems, dude, we might not see the Chiefs in the Super Bowl for a couple of years. Like, no, nah, with their, I mean, maybe a couple of seasons, but with their coaching, oh their yeah, head coach with Patrick Mahomes on the team, I think they'll as long as he's on the team, it'll be. Like the Tom Brady Patriots, they'll always be they'll be a threat, close, yeah. If not in the playoffs every single season, yeah. It's just whether they have the actual Super Bowl team to do it. Um, so yeah, I think every season they'll be playoff a contender. Yeah, yeah. It's until just whether not. or not they'll get the tools to actually make it to and win the Super Bowl. Yeah, they'll, they'll never be like a start to a season where you're like, yeah, I don't know about the Chiefs making the playoffs this season. You you won't be saying that until like the last few weeks when you're like, yeah, they're just not performing to their standard. So um, I saw one person's post on Twitter, though. It said that Kenny Pickett's injury is going to fix the Steelers offense and might actually be good for them. Wow, that's you- awful. <laughs> yeah, um, but I don't even <laughs> who's their backup? Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> Ooh, Trubisky's not bad. No, he's a good quarterback. I was mad when the Bears got rid of him. Like, like so, the two dude. seasons they had him, we went like twelve and four. Yeah, and that's like right. Eight and eight. <laughs> so I don't know if this is such a hot take, knowing that Trubisky's going to be coming in. It's not a hot take at all. Like, it's not it's a terrible thing to say, but he's not wrong. T- <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's crazy. That's they just, did lose to the Cardinals, but Cardinals, uh, like we said, Mitch are also Trubisky didn't starting come in until like later, I think. Yeah, one isn't it? Can you pick it? It's just like a concussion. I'm pretty sure, right? He broke his damn neck. <laughs> Could just broken his neck. Um, so Trubisky will get a chance to show off what he has, and we might see him start for the rest of the season. Who knows? Um, another thing people are talking about: Dak Prescott for MVP. Nope. Okay, moving on. Um, you don't think Dak Prescott deserves MVP this season? He's played like one real team this whole season. I like, I don't, he almost lost to the Seahawks. I don't. Yeah, but he's, he called his shot. He still has not thrown 10 interceptions. <laughs> that makes him MVP worthy. Yeah, that's cool. The six he's thrown were against like trash teams that he shouldn't have thrown what an was interception the, What was to. the coolest thing about Babe Ruth? He would call where he's hitting his home run before he did it. That's why he was the GOAT. Uh, um, no, I don't think Dak Prescott gets MVP. Yeah, um, I don't think he gets it. I think he doesn't feel for MVP before Dak Prescott. Wow, that's that's yeah. a hot take. Yeah. Um, I think Dak Prescott deserves to be in the conversation, at least. He's had some good games. He's played football, that's for he's sure. He's played football this season, dog. That's more than he's ever done. That's more than he's done since his rookie season. Um, And then, last hot take here. This one is coming from myself. Okay. Uh, Zach Wilson needs to get out of New York. I personally believe that Zach Wilson could be a good quarterback. You're such a Zach Wilson D writer, bro. I'm not. Every I just single week. I like, like him. I Zach like Wilson him. is the best player to ever play if he's not in New York. If he's out of New York, he's gonna have a four thousand yard passing season, fifty he touchdowns, will. three interceptions, Super Bowl MVP, league MVP, eight time All Star. Like I'm like Oh, no, see, chill. here's my here's my reason. I believe that the Jets have never tried to develop Zach Wilson. I think the closest the Jets have come to trying to develop Zach Wilson was they got Aaron Rodgers on the team, started Rodgers, and then they said, "Hey, uh, Aaron, can you go talk to the kid, give him some tips or something?" I think that's the most the Jets have ever done to like help Zach Wilson become an NFL quarterback. Um, you have to start the very basics with them. They're like, "Can you throw a ball?" And they watch him, and they're like. I'm, Zach Wilson's uh, <laughs> good though. When Zach Wilson has confidence and trusts his like himself as a player, dude, like he can, he, he's easily got great games. I, I just ever watched Zach Wilson play a football game. I don't because I don't want to watch. I, I'm scared he might get hurt. And I don't want to see I don't it. Want to watch the Jets? That's why. <laughs> no, I do. I I think that Jack, that Zach Wilson could have a good career if he was outside the Jets. That's probably the hottest take you ever had, honestly. Well. When he gets traded, 
And Zach Wilson is six two. Yeah, a lot of quarterbacks are six foot. I think he's just so tiny. Um, when he gets traded and when he gets MVP that first season after, we'll be coming back to this podcast. Just want to point that out. Um, moving on though, to end the episode, everyone's favorite segment, Pickums. <laughs> Pick-ums. Um, those of you who watched last week's episode, you know that my dad joined us for Pickums. <laughs> tu padre? And he lost. Um, yeah, he did. So we all said Cowboys. He said 30 to 6 win Cowboys. So that was embarrassing. Um, <laughs> you took your six. Um, we, you said Texans. My dad and I said Broncos. Texans got the win. Uh, we also Chargers. I called the Cardinals win. You guys said the Steelers. But that I wanted to say Cardinals. I wanted it on record. You, you did I want to say Cardinals. Cardinals, but I you just committed Steelers to the Steelers to keep, to keep it different. You and I did call the Colts beating the Titans. He took Titans, though. Foolish. Um, you took the Saints. We took the Lions, and the Lions won. You took the Falcons, and we took the Jets, and the Falcons won. <laughs> you guys are crackheads. Uh, we all took the Dolphins. I said I wasn't going to rock with the Buccaneers this week because they just keep disappointing me. So I took the Panthers. You guys took the Buccaneers, and the Buccaneers won by three. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> um, the Panthers. You know going into that, they're like one and I, ten. Right? Yeah, but like they get the new coach. I was like, they got a new coach. Like the Panthers they get I feel a new like, guy that they've only been got to work with for like less than a week. Like anyways, obviously they're going to win. Anyways, <laughs> my dad called the 49ers. You took the Eagles. And I said a tie, which honestly, I should probably lose a point since it was so far from a tie. Because <laughs> it was so not a tie. <laughs> like, they're, like, there's like, oh, you know, they didn't tie. And then there's like, oh, they did not tie. <laughs> oh, they weren't in the same league as a tie. Um, We all called the Rams. I called the Packers beating the Chiefs. That is which crazy. Which is insane. Uh, we all took the Jaguars, who lost to the Bengals in overtime. That's so disgusting. you and I tie. My dad lost by one, which means that you get to pick your primetime games this week. Woo! Which is exciting because the first game up is Patriots Steelers, and that could have been really terrible. Steelers. <laughs> Especially if I gave you the Patriots for that game, you never would have forgiven me. With my luck, they would have won. True. Um, all right. Buccaneers Falcons. Ugh. Boxers. Ugh. Oof. I'm going to take Falcons just to keep it different. Um, Colts, Bengals. This could be a good game. I don't know. That's an awful, <laughs> uh, that's an awful thing to have me pick. This is um, a good game. Um, I'm going to take the... Oof. The part of the thing is, part is, like, is the Bengals that played last night or right, the Bengals like, that played the prior week? That's what I'm saying, dude. I don't and are we know. gonna get the Colts that like want to play football, have a good defense, good offense? Or are we gonna get the Colts? Who did the, the Colts just beat the Titans? It's nothing. I too want to say it was a close game. Um, I can pull it up right here. Thirty-one twenty-eight in overtime. So yeah, yeah. I'll take Bengals. I'll take the Colts. Keep it mm. interesting again. Another week of interesting. Uh, Jaguars Browns. I'll take Jaguars. I don't think they lose to a Browns team that doesn't even know who's playing quarterback this week. Was the Jags playing for quarterback this week? Oh, shoot. Trevor Lawrence might be out. <laughs> oh, my God. Probably out. He, like, fractured his ankle. <laughs> they said it was a sprain. X-rays are today. Okay, he sprained his ankle. Ooh, dude, that's tough. Um, I think I'm going to take the Browns. Okay, I'm just going to keep the Jaguars. I'm not expecting a win on this one, but that's tough. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just battle of defenses, and Browns yeah, have a better defense that's than Jaguars. That's true. So. Uh, Texans, Jets. I'm taking Texans. I think I'm going to take the Texans. I'm also trying on fantasy to get the Texans defense. I put a claim mm. in them for today. I'm dropping the Bengals. 
and I'm About hoping time. I'm hoping that I get the Texans so I can play them against the Jets because that's like just easy. That's, that's huge, free. That's easy money. Um, Rams, Ravens. I feel like we haven't like heard about the Ravens in months, <laughs> but let's go Ravens on that one. We have. They were just on a bye this week. Well, I didn't even say anything. Oh, you want the Rams? No, but I'm thinking about it. I know you. It. You want the Rams? I'm thinking about it. The Rams take the Rams. a great game against the Browns, who have a good defense. But Ooh, Take the Rams. No, the Rams are also so like wishy take the Rams. Don't back down. Take the Rams. Ravens were able to rest, get some players healthy, get some get some healing done. What's the weather like for this game? Where are they playing? <laughs> What's the moon like that day? Ooh. What are they having for dinner after the game? <laughs> That's your dad. Ravens. I'll take the Ravens. Maybe he lost by once because we didn't let him talk through like his actual. <laughs> we didn't let him talk through every single pick. Gosh. Lions versus Bears. This is a close I'm game the last time the they Bears. played. I'm going to take the Lions just to keep it interesting. Panthers, Saints. I'm going to take the Panthers. <laughs> I'm going to take the Saints. <laughs> Take the Saints. I'm She's not making that Panthers. mistake. I'm not making that mistake twice. No, take the Panthers. Vikings Raiders. Oh, I'm gonna go Vikings. I don't. What I think... Vikings are we getting though? When Josh Dobbs first came over right. last week against the Bears, I think the Vikings because they did. They were on a bye week as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm I'm hoping that they took a week to calm down. Coming off those two losses and to just like, all right, let's 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 set it back on track. Um, I'm taking the Vikings purely because I need Hawkinson to get 150 <laughs> yards and three touchdowns. That's fair, yeah. Let's see. Let's, um, all right. Uh, Seahawks 49ers. I'm going to take the 49ers. I think they still pull it out. I do think... If the Seahawks play like they played last week, it could be a close game, but there's a lot of ifs and variables in that. I think it'll be a close game. I think the 49ers win it, but I do think that the Seahawks give it a good fight. I think I'm starting CJ Stroud this week over Geno Smith, though. The last time they played, uh, 49ers won 31 to 13, and that was just two weeks ago. Yeah, I'm starting. I'm starting Stroud over. G- Geno Smith. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> messing with that. Um, Broncos Chargers. Broncos. I will take your Broncos this week. I think Chargers are uh, shoot themselves in the foot. Yeah, it's division game. Broncos need to get this win to keep fighting against the Chiefs. I think they. I think they take it. Broncos win. Um, Bills Chiefs. Oof. I'm taking the Bills on this. I think we we talked about it a little bit already. I Those, have. A score prediction because oh. we have uh, we have a bit of a little fun stuff that happened this season in college football. Um, Wyoming played Texas Tech and oh, won yeah. thirty-five to thirty-three, I believe. Um, in overtime, you want the overtime on there too? No, because then I'll lose. It's Josh Allen. Do we see um, Josh Allen's first overtime win this week? 35 to 33, Wyoming beat Texas Tech. If you know, uh, Josh Allen went to Wyoming, um, and Patrick Mahomes went to Texas Tech. So I'm going to take Bills 35 33 okay. just because I think that's crazy. That <laughs> might be the first time I've ever played. And now we have the teams playing in the NFL. Sweet, dude. We'll see if that'd be insane. If I'll give you two points if you get that score correct. Um. All right, and then prime time for Sunday: Eagles versus Cowboys. Ooh. I'll take the opposite of you on this one because I think either team could come out. I think the Eagles probably win it, though. I w- my first instinct was to take the Eagles because it's the Eagles, um, and they already beat the Cowboys. Mm. But Cowboys had such like a shootout this last week, and. I can see either scenario. I'm going to take the Eagles still. Um, <laughs> Cowboys have a better pass defense than run defense, and Eagles can make things happen with their run. I'm going to take Cowboys. I'm going to make a score prediction too, just since you did yours. I'm going to go. 
<laughs> 30 to 6. Um, I believe this is in Dallas. So let's give it 28 to 14. Um, all right. Then Monday, we got two primetime games. Packers, Giants. Take the Packers, bro. I think they're on a good run right now. <laughs> I'm going to take the Packers because they're playing the Giants. Hey, Packers, man. Jordan Love's just looking really good. They're on um, such a hot should... streak. Um, I think that they pull this game out of, like, the thin air. Um... <laughs> uh, Titans, Dolphins. Titans don't have a winning record. Keep that in mind. What is happening right now? What do you mean? I thought Cowboys Eagles was Sunday primetime. Yeah, this is Monday primetime. There's two primetime games. Did you say that? And I was Yeah, I said that and you just didn't realize it. Yeah. Um I have to find the teams because I also wasn't listening because I was just... Dolphins Titans. <laughs> Titans don't have a winning record, keep that in mind. It's hard because like Titans are zero and six away, and Dolphins are five and zero at home. But it is the Titans, and they're like the best team that I've ever seen play football. I think I am gonna have to go Dolphins in this one. It's it was just so, so like stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh! Just right. you even asked me that. <laughs> like I never know. The Titans were I never know. Are I terrible mean, at football, or do you want the Dolphins who are nine and three? And I mean, you took kill? you took Saints over Panthers, so like I never know. You took Saints over Panthers. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, uh, there's our pickums <sighs> for the week, guys. So we're so bad at this. Make sure to tune in next week to see how bad we do because we're not good at this, dude. That Bills score will be insane. When it's thirty-five to thirty-three. <laughs> that will be insane. And no one will realize it because you're the only one that's done the news research on this. Dog. What? Tickets for the Dolphins game, which I mean, it is Dolphins in Miami, but they're playing the Titans. Lowest is $88. That's pretty good for an NFL game. The lowest for the Giants game is 30 Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we could go to uh, the Chargers game against the Broncos. 37. That's insane. Or we could go to Vikings Raiders for 210. Oh my gosh. For Vikings Raiders. Is that in? Is that in? It's in Vegas. Oh. Uh, huh. Yeah. That's $210. Um, this is actually is insane. The lowest game is $17. Do you want to guess who it is? Oh, I need to pull up the games again. It's going to be like. Um... It's not loading now. Um, okay. Is it Patriot Steelers? No. Uh, I guess that's prime time. Is it Jags Browns? It is Jags Browns. Because both are quarterbacks. Or, yeah. Panther Saints is $18. Wow. It's just insane. They don't... To go watch professional yeah. football. Yeah. And Sweet. You can just, well, just show up pretty much. Go get your tickets, guys, because. I guess it's a free game. At least I um, had Saturday games this week. No, that's next week. Because the said it made it the Navy Army game is this Saturday, so they can't do it. So we just completely lied on the script then? You said there were um, no college games this week, which meant that Saturday oh, games yeah. were back. Oh, and yeah. then we didn't talk about the, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Scrap <laughs> the episode. What's crazy is Navy Army, dude, they're both five and six. What's crazy is when you started talking, I was expecting you to say something bad, and you're like, no games this week. And I was like, oh, that must be next week. That's the <laughs> Army-Navy game. <laughs> you write the script then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys later. Uh, have a good one. We'll see you next week.